Hi, this is Mike Collinson here again uh, with an update on my RAM pump. Uh, on my last um, video, uh, I showed you how I managed to get the water up to the uh, garden level, uh, but I really was about 10 foot short as I wanted to get it to the top half of the garden into a storage tank. Um, I had a, a small problem in the fact that um, to get the extra fall needed to, to raise it the extra 10 feet, um, I had to add about another 20 or 30 feet to the dry pipe, which was already maybe 120 feet long. Uh, and by adding that, that amount, uh, in all probability, this, the pump would have actually stopped. Um, so what I did, I added a storage tank uh, halfway down the pipe. A lot of people put in um, stand pipes, but in my case, I already had the, the pipe work in place and I didn't want to replace it with larger pipes, which would have been the case if I'd have put a stand pipe in. So I added a storage tank, which um, then become basically the new source for the water. It's the same level, obviously, as the um, as the original source uh, of the drive pipe. Um, anyway, here's a uh, here's a short clip uh, showing you what I've done, and I hope you enjoy it. Here you can see the uh, the original uh, drive pipe that I installed, uh, running down through the centre of the stream, and uh, here is the uh, the storage tank that I installed. Uh, it's a bit of a askew. It's not settled exactly straight on the stream bed, but it's uh, as you can see, the water is up to the the height where the source is, and the pipe carries on down uh, towards the uh, ram pump. Here's the ram pump installed in its uh, final position. Uh, as you can see, I'm having to having to purge the system uh, of air. There's quite a bit of air in the drive pipe. Uh, it's still, even with the uh, storage tank put in, it's still around 100 foot in length. Uh, so, a, a fair opportunity to, uh, to have air trapped in it still. Um, but once this is um, once this is this is cleared, um, the um, the pump then starts, as you can see, to uh, pump away. Maybe once every two seconds or so, um, and this is now driving the driving the water up through the, uh, the green hose pipe you can see there um, which carries on up to the uh, to the top of my uh, to the top of my garden the hose pipe runs up behind this row of trees at the side of my field uh, up to the top and across and then up through the side I've zip locked it to the tank uh, so that it won't move around and it's providing a steady trickle uh, not too fast but as you can see the tanks now two-thirds of the full uh, just after a couple of days. I'd just like to add a couple of comments that may be helpful to other people. Um, first of all it's quite important uh, that you purge all the air out of the system. I had a, cu a couple of problems where uh, I still had trapped air in the dry pipe and also at one stage in the delivery pipe so it's quite important to to spend some time and purge all the air out to get it working properly. Uh, secondly um, Thanks to uh, Seth Johnson of Land to House, um, I put in a uh, non-return valve in the delivery pipe, and uh, I think this helped substantially. Uh, it just stops the uh, the flow of the water back into the pipe uh, and the weight of it, uh, and it just seemed to give that extra extra impetus. So uh, thanks, Seth, for that. Um, the um, one final point: um, I found it quite important to get the uh, the pump. Both level in both directions. So make sure it's actually um, that the um, click clack valve is dead upright, uh, but also that the whole pump is is level, uh, level in both directions. I think this is a this is quite important. So uh, uh, any any comments? I'd be I'd be pleased to uh, pleased to hear from anybody. And uh, if you like the video, uh, click me a like. <laughs> bye bye.